During the summer of 2009, I decided to travel to Cape Town, South Africa, to see life beyond captivity. Imagine a place where there are endless opportunities to try something new, to be able to touch the wildlife, be it in a petting zoo or through the steel bars of a shark cage. Imagine jumping out of an airplane that more closely resembles a tin can wearing nothing but a t-shirt and blue jeans. Imagine climbing a country's most famous landmark on trails no wider than a doorway, and then standing at the edge of the summit a little closer to God. All of these activities can be part of your vacation, as long as you're a white American. Despite the area's natural beauty, a deeper, darker side festers within the poverty-stricken slums that make up the majority of the housing projects outside of the city. The police force exists, but mainly in the city, and the rules of the road are dictated by the drivers, not the law. The slums that house the poorer population often have just one source for fresh water, a single spigot for more than 400 people. AIDS is still a monumental problem here, with over one quarter of the area's population testing positive for the disease, and the nation's officials aren't setting good examples. Jacob Zuma, South Africa's president, was recently involved in a rape scandal with an HIV-positive woman. When testifying, he denied contracting the disease because he took a shower afterwards. I came to Cape Town to be a tourist, to relax and make memories and immerse myself into another culture. I saw the children, saw the conditions they lived in, and melted when they smiled despite their hunger, despite the hate crimes toward their families, and despite their difficult futures. Happiness survived with them. I left Africa knowing this. Whenever life as you know it seems too hard, understand how lucky you are compared to others, and take joy in the simple privilege of being alive.